half kneeling band or cable raise. So this is a progression from the tall kneeling raises that you may have done in the past, but now we're creating a little bit more instability and increasing the difficulty of the exercise and forcing you to build a little bit more abdominal synchronization by putting you in a half kneeling position. So just so that you can kind of see from a couple different angles, the way we're gonna set up, we're gonna set up, the front knee is gonna be at 90 degrees, the back knee is gonna be at 90 degrees, and we're trying to pretend like we're walking a tightrope. Front foot, knee, and back toe are all on a straight line, as if I'm standing on a straight line on the floor. Also notice, back toes are pulled towards the shin, that big toe is underneath the ankle, we don't have the foot lying flat, toes pulled in. That's super important to work on that balance. So here's your positioning, but facing forward. We're gonna take that band, or ideally a cable, if you have access to a cable system, that's preferred because you can vary the resistance, make it more challenging, less challenging as need be. But if you don't have access to a cable machine, a band will work really well also. So again, nice straight line, front foot, back knee, back toe, straight line. If you're having just a ton of difficulty balancing for this being your first time doing this exercise, you can scooch the front foot out just a little bit, but your goal is to get that nice straight line to get the most out of this exercise. So we're gonna reach the bottom or the inside arm through. If you've done the chops before, you'll notice that my feet are actually the opposite direction. My knee that's furthest away from the attachment point is the one that's up, and the one that's closest to the attachment point is down, which is the opposite of the chop. So we've got one hand palm up, other hand palm down. Hands are gonna start right by the hips. Notice, knee staying nice and still. I realize I always get my balance a little bit there, but we're keeping that knee nice and still. We're gonna get that little rib tuck, get that little crunch, squeeze that glue to the knee that's down, squeeze it hard, and then we're coming to those three points. We start by the hip, to the chest, and we push the band up and away and come right back down. Everything stays facing forward. You're trying to stay as still as possible as you go through that movement, as little movement from that front knee and from the chest and shoulders as possible. Again, if you need a little bit of help with your balance, widen that front foot out just a little bit, but your goal is to keep that nice straight line all the way through. Remember those three points, hip, chest, press out and away. That is half kneeling band raise.